Hello, mate. Right. <laughs> <Hello. laughs> I literally can't be the only person that has a thing for the smell of GT85, am I? Oh. Thanks for all the amazing messages last week. Sometimes you just got to be honest and say where things are at. And actually, if I'm honest with you, that video is probably more for my own mindset and actually just putting it out had a big impact. But the messages I had were really lovely and the offers for rides to come for, for rides with me. I uh, worked a treat as you'll see towards the end of this week. But um, once the video went out on Monday, I went straight out on my bike on Monday afternoon. <laughs> difference a few days can make so Monday's video that went out feeling a bit miserable a bit uh, well a few people in the comments said beating myself up I'm already beating myself up just kind of laying it on the line saying it how it is and uh, yeah not oh look at look at that I mean, it's just a stunning day but anyway yeah thanks for all the kind comments and uh, the kicks up the arses and the offers of coming for rides which I'm definitely going to take people up on but I'm back to being super motivated and uh, enjoying being out on the bike I think the weather's got a lot to do with it I didn't really think about it last week but the wind and the crappy weather last week really got me down and it always does I always feel so much better when the weather's like this even if it is a bit cold it must be a bit too cold for fingerless gloves but anyway that's uh I'll tell you what this is an interesting area, I don't know if you can see it, but back there was uh, an old bunker, military bunker. And all this area during World War II was uh, made out to look like Bristol. And when, uh, when the first bombs dropped on Bristol because of the navigation, they used to use the fires to uh, navigate the bombers. And uh, so they used to set fire to oil drums and hay bales and stuff out here to make it look like it was Bristol so that it'd attract the bombs. There you go. Bet you weren't expecting a history lesson. Thanks, mate. And then after a nice rest day on Tuesday, I decided to go out and do a slightly longer uh, solo bike ride on Wednesday. Includes what by the time I get home will be a nice little 80k ride out in the sun much more likely to be where I should be around now just gotta keep the momentum up now and keep it daily keep that uh, endurance building what a lovely day Can you hear that horrible noise? That is the sound that happens when people don't subscribe and they don't hit the notifications bell and they don't give thumbs up to the videos. Please make sure you do that and make this noise stop. In fact, it isn't that noise at all. What it is is I've got a little bit of moisture in the mic of my Insta360 camera and I was merrily riding up Burrington Coombe, chatting to you lot, telling you about Rock of Ages and pointing out the caves and how Burrington really is like a poor man's cheddar. It's like the, the sort of slightly crapper cousin of the amazing Cheddar Gorge. It sort of runs parallel to Cheddar, goes up through the same bit of the Mendips, but um, it's, yeah, it's like a cheaper version, like um, Tesco Mild Cheddar versus Cathedral City or something like uh, Jedwood and Cheeky Girls or um, maybe Danny Minogue versus Kylie, that kind of thing. It's kind of, you know, it's got very similar features, but it's not quite the same. So 
So Friday saw me meeting up with one of the people that offered to come for a ride with me. And it's very kind of Anna and a few other people to offer to do that. So we went out for a nice ride on Friday. So today's brute of a climb is Cleve Hill, not the one in Gloucester. The one here in Somerset, shorter and sharper. It's more like a, a moor. And uh, I sent Anna off in front. I'm gonna get her reaction to it before because she's not ridden up here before. I'm gonna put my camera in my pocket because I'm not gonna be able to talk in a minute because it ramps up dramatically. If you can see that at the end, as you head into the trees, I see you at the top of this. No, well, no, this, the hill stopped ages ago. Oh, that's all right then. So, uh, what did you think of that? Horrible. Horrible? Yeah. Why was it horrible? Just that last steep, steep bit. Through Turning the woods. Through the Turning corners. Yeah. Every time you go around the corner, it's the one, it's the one, and then it's in. Yeah, on my Garmin, it tells you where you are on the hill. The worst bit about it is it also tells you how much slower than your PR you're going. Well, I think, I don't know, my, I went about 50 seconds slower than my PR up there, but you were more than 50 seconds ahead of me, so you did really well. I, uh, I hate that hill. I think the rest of it, I think, was actually quite nice. The road surface is awful, but... Yeah. It's quiet. Yeah, but you just... Morning. Morning. It's really bumpy, but yeah. it's that, that last ridiculous bit that where it's just... Walk past it's horrible, you just like weave across the road, don't you? Yeah, and it's like it's you know Cheddar Gorge. Yeah. It's that bit where you think I'm gonna stop and just lay down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That it's corner, that. there's a little S bend, isn't there, on Cheddar that's just the grimmest thing on earth. Exactly, exactly. But this bit it's has got worse road surface. And it goes on for longer. Yeah. That, that's longer and steeper that section. Is it? Yeah, that, then it is on uh, that cheddar. bit on, on Cheddar, yeah. Oh, okay, well, that's probably why, but yeah, but I might just fall off the bike just today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quite tempting just to literally do that. <laughs> and then by Saturday, I was really starting to feel like I was hitting a groove and getting the kilometres in. So I met up with my friend Jenny and we had some really good chats on the bike, did some really nice fast descents and some fast riding. <laughs> Then I led her out for a QOM attempt over one of the motorway bridges. Right 
So then comes along Sunday earlier today and my friend Ian and I decided to go out and do a nice big ride and I needed to do one of my recons. So we did one of the rides that's gonna be stage 12 of my Grand Tour, it's 100K, it's pretty flat. I think it was only about 450 meters of climbing. And I've called it Strada Bianchi uh, via San Remo because um, we essentially had the gravel track uh, to begin with along the Strawberry Line, which is the old railway. And it's kind of like Strada Bianchi, or at least it is when um, when the sun's out and it's kind of dry, you get all those plumes of plumes of dust coming up off, off, the, off the gravel. And then we went down south and then we swung across to, uh, to the coast at Bridgewater and Burnham and then rode all the way up through Western and it's kind of like the, the run into San Remo. Speaking of San Remo, how amazing was Stuyven's win uh, yesterday at Sam, uh, Milan San Remo? Absolutely brilliant, probably in my opinion, one of the most savvy bike finishes I've ever seen from a racer. Anyway, if you haven't seen it, watch the last 10K. It's absolutely blinding. So me and Ian went out and we had a fantastic day riding, uh, doing the usual things that we do on these longer, slower bike rides, just chatting away and catching up. So the results of this week are, I've done about 16 and a half hours on the bike. I've managed to get about 365 kilometers in the bank. Obviously I want to build that over the next couple of weeks. So next week I want to try and get near a 400 and then try and get near a 450 in the following week. Which shouldn't be too difficult because I'm on a little bit of a break from work and the kids won't be on their spring holiday either, uh, by, by that stage. So I should be able to get out and get some good bike miles in. But more importantly, I've got a good headspace on. Loads of really positive things have happened in this last week. Some of them I can't talk about yet. I'm hoping they'll pull off. Um, but there's some really exciting things in the pipeline um, that should hopefully uh, come to fruition and ultimately I've been reminded really why I'm doing this. I'm trying to raise money for a really worthwhile charity and trying to make something good uh, that's happened to me out of what's happened to me and the family over the last year and try and put something positive back in really, try and get myself fit, try and get myself focused and if everything carries on like this week has then absolutely everything will be fine. So thanks once again for all the amazing messages of support. It'd be great to have a comment below. Uh, let me know how your week's gone, whether you've got a big week in uh, or whether, you, uh, whether you've been taking it easy. I will see you on the next week and I will let you know how that's gone when I put my video up next Monday. Have a good week.